Hi, this is Jennifer Oberg, and today I'm going to show you how to sew up this mask that I'm wearing. So the first thing I want to show you are the three pattern pieces. There's a large piece and a smaller piece, and then this piece is for the foam that goes on the nose. And we cut out one of the large, like this, and two of the small, like this. Now, each uh, section has four layers total. There's the top layer, which is a layer that has got a liquid barrier. Then we have two layers for filter and then an inside layer that is against the face. The first thing to do is to sew around these. So we take this one, bring it to the sewing machine, and we're going to stitch around the edges. need to back stitch because you're going to be stitching across that. So that's how you do that piece. Now for these two pieces you only need to sew on one side and the pattern if you look carefully at the pattern it has a little bit of a curve here and it has a straighter side over here and we're going to stitch along the straighter side. So you pick this up Again, no need to back stitch because you're going to um, stitch over that end. All right, so once you have that stitching done, the next step is going to be to trim off all of the white. So just get a scissors and trim around. And just trim it off, leaving the blue. And you do that to all those pieces until you end up with, with this. So we've trimmed off all the white and we have three pieces like this now. So now, once you have these pieces together, the next step is to sew on the foam that's going to go behind the nose. So here's a piece of the foam and you can use a piece of wire, there's all kinds of options out there. This is um, electrical solder and you just go ahead and stitch that foam piece on here. You can see the stitching line here. You insert the wire in between and then you stitch down the other side. So you end up with one of these pieces with the nose in it. Now you're going to take the three pieces and sew them together. And remember how we only stitched on one side. So the pieces come together like this and we line them up with the edge. And the pieces are just going to butt right up next to each other, and we're going to stitch that at about a half an inch, just straight across. And there's no need to back stitch at this point because you're going to be stitching over that again when we put on the elastic. And I'm going to line up this edge here. It overlaps a little bit, but that's okay. We can trim that off. Again, sewing at a half inch. Okay, now I'm just going to trim off this excess stitch here. And I've got a little excess right here that I'm going to trim off just so the edges line up. Now we're going to sew the sides together, and when we sew the sides together, we're going to start at this, let me move this right here, okay. So you see where 
there's an intersection right here where this stitching and this stitching cross. That's where we're going to start. And we're going to come along like this along the edge all the way down to here and then we're going to end at that intersection right there. Here we go. start right here and work our way all the way across here and I'm going to make sure that these edges are lined up it's a lot of layers I'm just going to line them all up on the edge open it up on the inside. It looks good on the inside. And here's where the nose is going to be. Now we're going to put the elastic on. So we have two pieces of 15 inch long elastic. The elastic is applied on the outside of the mask. If you look at the mask I'm wearing, you can see it here on the outside. So we're going to leave a little bit of a gap here because we want to put a staple in here at the end. So we want to have a little gap. So we're going to stitch this right over that seam and back stitch and then we're going to get the other one and put it right there here we go and come on here back stitch that and that's how it's applied trim these threads Okay, and then we have to take that piece and wrap it around so it ends up over here. And this one wraps around and ends up over here, like this. So they end up like this. Okay, so I'm going to stitch that down. adds a little extra security right here and we want to staple this is the inside of the mask it's closest to the face so we want the flat side of the staple to be right here against the skin and we're stapling through to try to catch the uh, the elastic to just give it a little more security there okay and there's our mask. It's all done. It opens up like this. Goes on the face like this with the nose up here and that can bend for the nose. And we will uh, have a PDF of this pattern uh, included in the comments of the video. Thanks so much for watching.